Welcome to the only YouTube channel dedicated to helping people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content, substances I once struggled with. At the end of the video, to learn more about our free and paid program resources, be sure to check out the pinned comment or the link in the video description. Today, I want to talk to you guys about some of the real cost of smoking that I incurred. And I'm referencing addiction, addiction to THC, addiction to nicotine, addiction to alcohol. What is the real cost of those things? And I say this as someone who struggled with nine years of substance use. I heard a quote the other day, and the quote said, sacrifice today for the things you want or the things you want will become the sacrifice tomorrow. And after thinking about that quote, I thought it really related closely to addiction. And I want to paint an example of this for you guys. So as I continued to smoke right up until about the age of 27, 28 years old, a lot of things were changing in my life. I had friends who had good careers. I had friends who were starting families. I had friends who were purchasing their first home or their first condo. And I was watching people start to achieve all of the things that I was hoping to achieve by the age of somewhere in my 30s. And I was watching people accompany or acquire the things that I wanted to have, the things that I expected to have as I progressed throughout my life. And what I realized looking back is because I wasn't willing to sacrifice what I wanted in the moment, nicotine, weed, all my time that I put into, you know, watching adult media content, which was, you know, not that much time, but enough. Because I wasn't willing to sacrifice those things, in my future, I was eventually forced to sacrifice other things. And it's incredible thinking about this now. My wife is now 22 weeks pregnant, and God willing that she has a healthy pregnancy and I have a child. I look back and I think, oh my gosh, there was a point in my life where I was willing to sacrifice marriage, a steady relationship, potentially the birth of a child, a son, for weed addiction, for nicotine addiction, for addiction. I was willing to sacrifice the financial health of my business and the financial health of my, my future for weed, for nicotine, for addiction. And if you're watching this video today and you're thinking about quitting smoking weed, quitting smoking cigarettes, I think you have to ask yourself a, a central question. How much more are you really willing to sacrifice for this addiction? And whether or not you know it, you're going to sacrifice something. Because come the future version of you, you might want good health. You might want a steady relationship. You might want a bigger business. You might want more financial security. But these may be things that you have to be willing to sacrifice if you're going to continue down the path of addiction to weed, alcohol, nicotine, pornography, gambling, whatever the addiction is that you're struggling with, you are currently making sacrifices. And those sacrifices are going to have a direct impact on how your future looks, on how you live five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. And having the time that I've had now away from these substances, away from these drugs, it just amazes me the power of addiction that I was somehow convinced that the sacrifices that I was making to maintain addiction were worth it. Because had you asked me at one point, I'd say, it's worth it. Ah, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a little weed. It's just a cigarette. It's just a vape. And it amazes me that I was willing to put that before my future health, my future income, a, a potential future family. I was willing to sacrifice all those things. Now, some people may be watching this and they might say, Dr. Frank, I already have a wildly successful career like many people who we talk to do. They say, I already have children. I already have all these things. But I do want to quit, but I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why I want to quit. I was talking to a gentleman the other day, and he had all these things. He was very successful in the financial world. Um, he had kids, right? Everyone was healthy. He has a wife. And he said, something happened to me the other day. 
he was at one of his children's wrestling events, and it was his daughter. So it wasn't wrestling. It was more like the MMA karate style type fighting, something along those lines. And his daughter was in this like championship match, and the match wasn't really going anywhere. So he figured, okay, I'm going to go step outside, and I'm going to have a hit of my vape and you know maybe a little bit of weed, maybe. So he steps outside catches a buzz, comes back in, and in the time he was outside, his daughter had won the match. She won. She secured it, and he missed it, and his wife was like, you know, you were the first person she was looking for because you got her into this, and for those, you know, minute, five minutes you were outside, you missed the whole thing, so he sacrificed that moment. He sacrificed that time with his daughter for addiction to nicotine, I don't remember if he smoked weed or not when he went outside, to be honest, but he made a sacrifice for addiction. He sacrificed his time and he sacrificed a moment, a moment that happened to be a really important moment to his daughter. So whether or not you realize it, you are already sacrificing things. And the scary part about this is for, for many of you, it might not hit you until you're five years from now, 10 years from now, and you don't have the things that you want. You don't have the things that you expected to have. Just like I was sitting there 28, 29 years old, 27 years old, saying, wow, I wanted that house. I wanted that marriage. I wanted that secure relationship, but I don't have those things. Why? Because I wasn't willing to sacrifice addiction. I wasn't willing to put down the weed, to put down the nicotine, to put down the adult media content. I wasn't willing to carve out the time necessary to build up to that house, to build up to that steady relationship. But I was willing to sacrifice at the time all those things for a drug. Like any choice we make, Uh, choices come with sacrifices. If you choose to be an entrepreneur and build your own career and your own business, you are going to sacrifice a lot of time with family, with friends, on weekends. There's going to be a massive amount of sacrifice. You may have to move back at home to get that business loan to start it up, whatever it is you're working on. But at least that sacrifice gives you dividends. There's an outcome. There's a positive outcome that you could potentially reach. There is no dividends on the sacrifices that you are making for addiction. If you're sacrificing to have a child, you're sacrificing your time, you're sacrificing some of your income, you're sacrificing things when you have a child, your life changes, maybe your travel plans. That's a sacrifice. You might get a return from that. You might get, you know, another human being that brings you more joy than you ever could have possibly imagined. What is the return on the sacrifice that you are making for addiction? What inactive addiction is worth your sacrifice, your time, your energy, your health, your wealth? What is worth it? Because if you can't answer that question, I think now is the time to reassess that that behavior. And if you need help with shifting the mindset, if you need help making sense of this, check out the pinned comment and consider booking a one-on-one addiction recovery coaching call with myself. Right, I'll walk you through it, or download our free 80-page PDF on quitting, or follow me right into the next video where I explain a little bit more about addiction and how you can start to make sense of this whole mess. I'll see you in one of those three spots.